All right, so we wanted to share uh, some sample projects just to give an idea of the kind of projects our students uh, do at our uh, online coding sessions and also at uh, online summer camps with Wise Computing Academy. Now keep in mind, this is Python, uh, interactive programming with uh, Python. Um, this is for students in fourth grade and above. And these are really the, the real projects that our students have done. So starting from uh, making the life of a contact tracer easy to determine if a person was infected with COVID-19 or not. This is a, sort of a, a flow chart that uh, Wall Street Journal had uh, put up in their paper. And our uh, learners, what they did was they converted that into a Python code. So if you run this code, it'll ask you a bunch of questions. And if you answer, um, it will determine whether, you know, what kind of risk level a person is, is at. And it follows this flow chart that the Wall Street Journal had come up with in, in, in their uh, newspaper. Another good example is um, this animated robot. Uh, as you can see, this is a animated robot that's using uh, various different uh, coding principles like uh, functions with parameters, uh, lists, and things like that um, to basically add the animation to not just create um, really cool looking um, uh, projects, but also add animation to them. Um, this one here is another really cool project. What it, this is, is it's a traffic light that responds to the keyboard event. So if I press red, it uh, shows red, I press yellow, it shows yellow, green for uh, G for green, and uh, A for all, and N for none. So, you know, it's a really like a state machine that uh, acts to the key, key pressed events. The final one that I wanted to show here is this uh, really, really beautiful racetrack that one of our fifth grader created using just programming, there's absolutely nothing, um, no, 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 no drawing here uh, with hand. All of this drawing is actually been done by using Python code and applying the principles of mathematics to understand when to turn uh, various things and when to not. And I'm gonna let, let this finish so you can see, get an idea of what kind of uh, things that this particular child has uh, had added. So as you can see, these turtles are moving along uh, with the track. Uh, so, you know, one has to determine what angle do they have to move and they're all moving together. So they're moving in parallel and uh, they're moving at different, uh, different angles and different uh, directions. And here, um, they are about to finish. Again, they move together. So it's a demonstration of how each turtle cannot just move by itself, but also move together and still stay inside their own track and basically finish the race. So that's really it. Uh, this, I hope this provides you a good idea into the kind of uh, programs that we have here.